So there's an article on ringtv.com, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. With, I think it's an interview or something with Gennady Golovkin, and they're discussing the possibility of him signing with the zone. Now, apparently Golovkin has had a meeting with Eddie Hearn, and it's looking like it's going to be a two-fight deal with the zone. They're saying the pay is in the region of $45 million. Now, I'm assuming that's over the course of two fights. So, you know, that works out about just over, I think, $20 million, $22 or so million per fight, which is, you know, serious, serious money, serious amount of money. They're saying that the first fight will possibly be in May or June, and it looks like it could be against Demetrius Andre. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with Demetrius Andre and Billy Joe Saunders, because as far as I'm aware, the WBO are going to name him mandatory. But, you know, with these sanctioned bodies, they make their own rules as they go along. And the interesting part is, is that should Triple G get through the Andre fight, assuming he signs with the zone, then the plan is for him to rematch Canelo Alvarez in September for a third time. So we'll have Triple G versus Canelo part three. And... Potentially, if Canelo Alvarez beats Danny Jacobs and Triple G beats Demetrius Andre, that would be for undisputed at middleweight. All the belts, all the marbles. So it's really a case of what does Triple G want to do because they've also reported that he's been offered um, a deal to go with PBC and Al Heyman. Now, they've said that the deal isn't worth as much money. There's no actual amount they've given, but it's not as worth as much money as the offer that Eddie Hearn, the zone, are offering. They've said that it's still a two-fight deal. They you know, haven't named or even hinted at an opponent who the first opponent would be. But let's say, for argument's sake, it's just some you know, kind of fringe-level middleweight. He gets him out of the way. Then the plan is for him to have a fight with Jamel Charlo on pay-per-view in maybe in September, I think. So, yeah, that would really... Mm, it depends really on what Triple G wants to do. Now, to be fair, the DAZN deal does sound a lot more lucrative it's you know it could be more money in fact i think it probably is more money in the grand scheme because you can take pay-per-view into account but realistically is charlo a pay-per-view star not really is golovkin without canelo a big pay-per-view star no not really so you know realistically if he's looking for money and if he's looking for legacy realistically there's only one place to go it's the zone you know if if he wins if he does the side with the zone and he beats demetrius andre he becomes wbo champion he's never held that title before and then if Canelo Alvarez wins against Danny Jacobs, he'll have three of the four belts. Golovkin will have a chance to right the wrong for the, the third time, essentially, against Canelo. And it'll be for all the marbles. And it will be for a big payday, as I'm sure he's accustomed to at this stage. Whereas with PBC, there's no title in it. There's less money. And, you know, what is he fighting for? A WBC interim belt? Really? Is that going to be appealing to Triple G? Because I think Triple G at this stage, he's going on 37. He's coming to the end of his career. I think he just wants as much money as he can. I think he wants to just seal his legacy. I think that's more important to Triple G. And if he signs with PBC and Al Heyman, given the offer that he's received, obviously I don't know the, in, the ins and outs of the offer, but just from looking at it from the outside looking in, it's nowhere near as appealing as the zone. It really, truly isn't. He's getting more money for the zone. He's not getting any pay-per-views because the zone don't do pay-per-view with a streaming service and you pay a monthly subscription. But realistically, you know, he's going to be making, you know, pay-per-view level money as opposed to fighting with PBC where he's not going to make the same money and he will have a pay-per-view fight where neither guys are really, really, you know, major pay-per-view stars. Triple G, pay-per-view star with Canelo. But without Canelo, you know, how many view, how many um, pay-per-view buys did he do against Danny Jacobs? I think it was something like over 100,000. And, you know, when he fought Canelo two times, they both done over a million. That says it all. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Um, you know, feel free to leave your thoughts down below. But realistically, from what I can gather here, I think that if I was in Golovkin's team, I'd be advising him to sign with his own ASAP because that is a very good deal. And it's pretty much going to seal your legacy, provided you win. So, yeah, feel free. Ah, I'm getting tripped over myself there. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below as always, you know, please leave a like, share this video if you need to, all of it helps support the channel, and yeah, it's been amazing the last few days, so I'm going to hopefully keep that up, so those are my thoughts on this, and I will talk to you after.